No matter what is happening, no matter what you face or what is around you, praise the Lord. You must praise God in season and out of season. You must praise God always. You must praise Him for what is good or what seems bad. This is what God wants. The Bible says that God inhabits the praise and rejoicing of His people and not their ungrateful talks. Whatever life throws at you, you need to be positive and make praise your constant attitude. It is only a man that praises that enters the good books and receives the favor of a king. When you continue and maintain the attitude of praise in all things to God, he would shower you with favor. When life seems to be giving you limes, smile at the situation. This is what God expects from you. Do not glorify the situation or the challenge bigger than your God. He is your God and you cannot lack. Despite the happening, despite the situation, despite the look of things now, be positive and expectant. It may have delayed, but this season, God will manifest everything in full to you. God is giving you reasons to be happy and joyful. You will be joyful always. Whatever is needed to make your joy complete will get to you today. This is what God is doing for you this season. This is your season of complete joy and rejoicing. Your joy would be full and complete. You are set for unlimited celebration. Celebrate because His praise will not cease in your life. What do you seek from God? The Lord will do it for you this season. The Lord is changing your story this season. The Lord is giving you a new story. The Lord is set to turn things around for your favor. This is your season. This is your time. This is your moment. It does not matter how long it may have taken. It does not matter the attempts of the devil and his agents. And his agents want to hinder you from having your blessings. The counsel of God alone shall stand. The counsel of your Maker alone shall prevail. And it is happening this season. Remain in the Lord, remain in His work, remain at your duty post and He will give you joy. The praise in your mouth is your weapon. Do not allow anything to take away the joy of the Lord from your life. His joy must be filled and resident in your life. Never give chance to anything that would take away that joy of the Lord in you. Praise God in moments of instability and do not forget He has always been your rock. Do not give up on him and succumb to a frantic, uncontrolled version of yourself. God will not give up on you. As you walk forward through difficult moments, choose to let him be your ultimate stabilizer. Let your mouth be filled with his praise and not negativity. It does not matter what you want God to do for you. He will do it for you. When he rescued the children of Israel from the land of Egypt and through the Red Sea, they were filled with joy, laughter, and rejoicing. They went out in their numbers singing victory songs to God. This is what God will do for you. He will give you reason to be happy. He will make praise not to depart from your lips. It is happening to you. Whatever has held you from being happy, whatever is planning to take away your joy, God is clearing them off for you. Remember the reason He came to earth that you may have life and have it all in abundance. He also promised that above all things, He wants you to be in health and prosper in all things. Nothing can stop your joy. Nothing can stop the good that God wants to do for you. You are set for the best. He has good plans for you, plans to give you a bright future. Be calm and watch what He will do for you. No matter how much the enemies try, they will never succeed. Anyone that tries to bring you down will watch you being successful. No matter where you are or what you are going through, be patient for God to act. Whatever God does is good and wonderful, except when it's not God, but if it is Him, all would wonder at the magnitude of what He will do in your life. When He stepped into the home of Abraham, He did not leave them barren. He broke the siege and gave Sarah a child. That situation that has taken your praise and joy away, be it childlessness or anything, 
The God that did it for Sarah will do it for you. He will break whatever wants to hinder your joy. He will break every limitation in your life. He will stop whatever has been barren in your life. He will surprise you with joy and rejoicing when the enemies and science have written you off and said nothing good can come from you again. He will surprise you with good that you cannot contain. God who did it for Hannah when her co-wife and others mocked her for being barren will also do it for you. While they laugh at you, he will work for you. He will prepare a table for you in the presence of your mockers. When men reject you, God will accept you. Rejoice and celebrate because you are in your season of acceptance. Great are the works and things he will do for you, and they will leave you amazed and wondering. Your lips will praise him because his mercy and love will keep you always. Thanksgiving to God will be your continuous practice. He will continually satisfy you with the riches. He shall be your safety. They might try to harm you, but as he promised in Psalms 23, you may walk through the valley of death, but shall fear no evil because he will be there with you, and you will not see his hands in your life. He shall be like a rock of refuge to you, giving command for your safety and preservation at all times. You will celebrate and keep celebrating God's mighty acts in your life. Nothing is too small for God to do. He will take off burden from your shoulder. You will remember his goodness and mercy over you day after day. You will be grateful to Him forever. Whatever is the cause of the problems in your life, God will destroy it. He's waiting for your call. He is waiting for you to call Him to your aid. He is waiting for you to remember all He has done for you. He is prepared to satisfy you. God is enough. No other God will do for you what He is willing to do for you. Your mouth will be filled with praises. He will put a new song in your mouth, a song of praise. Many will see what He has done for you and will trust in Him. He is God and still on the throne. It's your season of wonders and praise, and His praise shall fill your mouth every day.